What's up guys, David Land here and this is a box. More specifically, it's a box I got from eBay. And if you read the title, you already know what's in this box and you also know that this is David Land Buys. And if you're new here and don't know what David Land Buys is, uh, this is when I uh, make a big purchase online or at a local diecast dealer or whatever. And I would just want to show off my purchases of stuff I may or may not feature in a future video. But uh, part of the reason I do this is because if you guys do want to see something I, uh, I bought on uh, eBay or whatever in a future video, this is the video to comment on. So I've got a huge lot in this box of 1990s cart indie cars. Now we'll move the box down off of the the table as to not show off all my shipping information but also for me to get easy access to the box so uh, like I said this is a huge lot and again if you probably looked at the thumbnail you probably already know what's in here but this is the first car we're going to uh, I uh, got and this is uh, a very uh, happy purchase for me uh, this is Juan Fangio the second's uh, Castrol Eagle uh, this is a Racing Champions 164 from 1997. It's even got a Venture sticker on it, and if you know Venture, Venture's been gone for a very long time. Uh, as you can see, 164 scale die cast from Racing Champions, uh, and you guys also know that I already reviewed a 118 scale of this car uh, that I bought in a flea market. Uh, that was a Mini Champs version. This, of course, uh, as a Racing Champions, is way, way less accurate. Uh, these old racing champions cars they put on like a 1991 or 1993 Lola, and this is supposed to be a Reynard, uh, whatever. But that's the first car. I'll put that in the background for now. Second car is one that's very very noteworthy for a few reasons. This is the Hot Wheels Pro Racing First Edition, and you may recognize this too because I did a Hot Wheels Pro Racing First Edition 1998 of Michael Andretti. Well, this is Jill DeFerrin in his Walker Racing. Yes, it says Walker. This car was a Valvoline car, but for whatever reason, Valvoline uh, was not, uh, did not want to be on the car. So, no Valvoline logos. But if you may have noticed, there is a little bit of an error on this car, and I only noticed it after I had made my eBay purchase, what I had actually bought. And I'm not going to point it out, but uh, I want you guys in the comments to tell me what the error is on this car. Uh, and tell me what's wrong with it, because I know what's wrong with it, uh, but you may not. Uh, this is also a Reynard body, a Reynard chassis, because <coughs> I choke on my own spit again. Reynard 97i with a Honda HRR engine. Uh, this is, might be a car review, might not be a car review, I haven't really decided yet. Uh, but this is not the only one of these cars uh, that I got in this lot. In fact, the next one is coming up right now. And this is kind of the big one, the very important one. Prot Wheels Pro Racing again. This one is Alex Zanardi, his number four championship winning Reynard 97i. Fantastic looking model. Very, very happy to get this one. Uh, the wing is really trimmed out, though if you look at some photos from the Michigan 500, that's not inaccurate. They trimmed those uh, suckers out. Uh, but as you can see, there's some stuff on the background. Uh, this one I think I will end up reviewing. Uh, I'll just have to get an X-Acto knife and cut it out like I did with the uh, Michael Andretti car. Be very careful because I do like to keep the packaging, even though yeah, the packaging isn't the best packaging in the world. Speaking of Alex Zanardi, we've got a 1998 Championship Edition Racing Champions 164 scale Alex Zanardi car. And as you can see, just to point out, uh, this is an accurate Reynard chassis, and this is an inaccurate uh, Lola bodied car. But anyway, uh, yes, I actually already have this car loose. Uh, I bought uh, like a huge lot of Racing Champions cars to do a ill-fated stop motion that I never did. Um, uh, of these cars and this was one of the cars in the lot but here's the background if you're interested in reading about some racing champion stuff officially cart licensed product so we'll put, put uh, Alex over there with the rest of the racing champions cars for now uh, speaking of more racing champions cars we got racing champions 1997 uh, from <laughs> a venture store on clearance 
This car is a 164 scale of Maurizio Gujelmin in the Pack West, aka Hollywood Cigarettes car, but they couldn't put that on the uh, on a die cast. That was going to be in the toy section of your local venture. Um, yeah, fan this one's pretty good because there wasn't a lot of Mauricio Guzman stuff available. I think uh, uh, Mini Champs did one, a 118th scale, but uh, I think this is pretty much the only 164 scale Mauricio Guzman you can get, and it's the same background as the one that came with Fangio. So we'll put that over there. Uh, let's get the next car out. And this is uh, one that a lot of people will know, at least a driver, uh, and particularly from my videos. Uh, 164 scale racing champions of Max Pappas. Yes, Max Pappas. Uh, this beautiful MCI car uh, on a Lola body. Uh, that will also be rectified later in this video. Uh, don't worry, what I, I'm just teasing later in the video. But uh, fantastic paint scheme. Of course, you guys saw me review the uh, the 118 version of this from Mini Champs, so it's fantastic to get this in Racing Champions as well. Very happy with this purchase. Uh, purchase. It's all the same purchase, uh, folks. We got another Racing Champions, and this is a good one. This one was bought on clearance for two dollars and fifty cents from Venture. This is Hiro Mashusta. And it is the Panasonic Duskin 24 car. Uh, of course, he uh, known a little bit more as King Hero because uh, uh, Emerson Fittipaldi got mad at him one time, keyed his radio a little too late, and instead of saying some other word, he called him King Hero, and the word stuck. But Hero, uh, fun fact about Hero, he actually runs the Swift engineering firm that, uh, of course, uh, built the Swift Indy cars and uh, now is in the aerospace industry with all their wind tunnel stuff that they use to build race cars. So, Hero, very cool, pretty rare die cast. Um, quite happy to get this. There's not a lot of Hero stuff out there, uh, at least from 1997. Uh, I know there's some stuff from 94, 95, but uh, it's the first time I've seen a Hero from 97, so fantastic to get Mr. Mashusta, and that's the first time anybody was happy to see Hero. Oh, here's a very nostalgic one. Now, this is one I actually had as a child. 1997, 299 from Venture, though I think I got mine from Kmart or Meyer. This is the 1997 Jimmy Vassar number one target car from Racing Champions. This is on the oval aero kit. Fun fact, uh, the Zanardi and the Guzelmin are on a road course aero kit. Uh, so Racing Champions did have two molds that they used. Uh, why they chose some cars to be on the oval kit and some on the road course, uh, I don't know. You'll have to ask Racing Champions. But fantastic. This one I ha definitely had as a child, uh, and it ran up front a lot because uh, it was kind of my surrogate uh, target car. I think it was the only target car I had for quite a while. So uh, this one got to play as Jimmy Vassar and as Alex Zanardi. Uh, so I'm very, very happy to get this one again. Uh, this was also in a wave with Buddy Lazier because I remember you could get Jimmy and Buddy Lazier in 1997 because they were the US 500 and Indy 500 champions and they put them in the same wave because racing championship IRL cars with kart cars back then. Uh, just a fun fact. Should I go for this one? Sure, we'll go for this one. This is the only big car I got. Uh, in this lot. These were all in the same lot, by the way, but this is the 124 scale Shell Reynard Indy Racer. This is Brian Herta's 1996 Ray Hall Hogan, or uh, excuse me, I think it was just Team Ray Hall at that point. Uh, Team Ray Hall Shell car. I might go get to signed at, uh, at Watkins Glen if I can find Brian Herta. This might be a fun one to get signed by him. Uh, but I'm pretty sure they sold these in gas stations. Uh, don't quote me on that. Uh, but uh, I think they sold these in gas stations. So, uh, yeah, a Shell 124 scale IndyCar. Not entirely, not accurate at all, actually. I'm pretty sure that, that this car looks way more like a Lola than it does a Reynard. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty interesting. Uh, I'm glad to get it. Uh, there's a few on eBay for, like, 30 bucks, And I was like, well, I paid... That was less than I almost paid for the whole lot of these cars. Anyway, um, yeah, pretty interesting. Uh, and, of course, uh, you guys may recognize the scheme. It looks a lot like that Tony Stewart car I reviewed. And that's why I call the Joey Logano throwback uh, this year a Brian Herta throwback because it's really a Brian Herta throwback. Now, let's put that car there. Uh, and speaking of Max Pappas, we have another Max Pappas. This one's from the Hot Wheels Pro Racing category. 
It's the MCI Toyota, and it's a Reynard, and as you can tell, it's definitely a Reynard. Uh, and let's see if I can pull out the Max Pappas. Okay, again, Racing Champions, Hot Wheels. Racing Champions, Hot Wheels. Both 97 cars, so now I have all, I think I have all the Max Pappas cars that were released for 1997 from three different die-cast manufacturers. Uh, times were a lot different back then, uh, but uh, yeah, fantastic. Uh, another Toyota powered car, so uh, this car was not running up at the front much, but uh, Max Pappas's performance in that car certainly gained him a lot of respect as he uh, moved on in life. Let's see what we're going to go with next. Uh, we'll go with... Nah, we'll go with... It's like Christmas morning. It's like trying to pick out a present. We'll go with this. Uh, Hot Wheels Pro Racing 1998 edition this is Andre Ribeiro. Now, I loved... Now, Kart was very arrogant back in the day uh, with a lot of things. Just look up the US 500 uh, for an example of that. But uh, their arrogance sometimes was great because they were so confident in their drivers uh, that they put like guys like Andre Ribeiro, who had won a couple races, uh, both in 95 and 96, uh, they put him in the mass market retail line of Hot Wheels. They said, guess what? You guys are going to love Andre Ribeiro. You guys are going to buy his merchandise. I loved the... Um, I love the, uh, the the confidence there. It's kind of like what NASCAR does now with their Xfinity guys. It's like, oh yeah, you guys all know who Eric Jones is, even though he, you know, who would actually know Eric Jones if he, if NASCAR didn't push him as this next great thing since sliced bread, or you know, even to a lesser extent Chase Elliott. I mean, just NASCAR pushed the heck out of him, and now he's a huge star. But uh, that's what Cart tried to do with Andre Ribeiro. It didn't work out quite as well. Uh, so let's try, let's see, I know there's one more, there's two more pro racing cars that should be in here somewhere. Uh, but this is the first one, uh, Hot Wheels, Team Hot Wheels Pro Racing, uh, Patrick Carpentier in the Alumax Bentenhausen Reynard. This is fantastic. And you guys may remember Patrick Carpentier from this little quote I had in the uh, in the Brickyard 400 vlog. Patrick Carpentier is number 32 in your program, number one in your heart, and number 40th on your starting grid. Yes, oh yes, Patrick Carpentier. We love Patrick Carpentier. And I think this is one of the few die casts you can actually get of Patrick Carpentier. So I'm very happy to get the Patrick Carpentier car. How many times can I say Patrick Carpentier? I don't no, as you can see, he's from Quebec, so it's this accent is good. Oh, they can say players. Oh, they can say players on the back, but they can't put any cigarette advertisements actually on the cars. But fantastic! Uh, this one will definitely be a review. I'm very happy to get that car. Now, let's see. Ah, uh, there's. Oh, there it is. Okay, so one last one from the pro racing segment, and then we've got even a few more to go after this. Uh, and this is one I was. Very, very happy to get because I thought this was going to be so hard to get, so hard to find. But it's Mark Blundell's number 18 Motorola car from PacWest Racing. This, this is a beautiful, beautiful paint scheme. I'm so happy to get this one. Man, I was worried because when I started my quest to get the pro racing, the full set of the pro racing Hot Wheels cars, I was like, there's no way I'm going to get a Blundell. Because first of all, nobody knows who Mark Blundell is anymore. And, you know, the, the chances somebody's going to put one up on eBay or me finding one in a flea market is just such a long shot. But this lot has gotten me to the point where I, I only need one more Hot Wheels Pro Racing car to complete the set from 97, and it's uh, Christian Fittipaldi. Uh, for whatever reason, that car has eluded me. Uh, but I'll get it eventually. Now that there's only one car I have to get from this set, uh, that will make it much easier. But Blundell, another car I will absolutely review. Uh, I think I'll review most of the Pro Racing cars. So we got three die casts to go. Oh, yeah! We do have another Brian Herta. This is the Hot Wheels Pro Racing 1998 Preview Edition. This is Team Ray Hall, Brian Herta. This car is number 8. Of course, the 124 was 28 because this is from, uh, well, I guess it's from the 1998 season, but it might be a 97 Reynard, uh, this one. We'll, we'll see on the back because I think it'll say, yes, 97i Reynard. Um, so, yeah, a lot of stuff from the 1997 cart series that came out uh, in mass market retails and it was great to have Hot Wheels. Now the difference between the Pro Racing, uh, Team Hot Wheels Pro Racing or whatever, the first edition cars, uh, these have rubber tires 
and these have plastic tires so these cars actually can go on the uh, the Hot Wheels track so that is very interesting we've got another one coming up and it's another Pro Wheels Pro Racing car this one's Walker Racing 1998 preview edition Jill DeFerrin and another car that uh, they weren't allowed to put Valvoline on for whatever reason so uh, you get a Walker sponsored uh, Reynard this is another Reynard uh, and it's this one is a Honda powered Reynard though that doesn't really matter as a die cast uh, but very happy to get this one in fact I already own both of these cars but I had them out of the box so I may not take these out of the box um, but the next car that is the also the last car I believe unless I've got let me see lots of bubble wrap but nothing else uh, this is a one I wanted for a while Hot Wheels Pro Racing 1998 preview edition Della Pena Motorsports Richie Hearn yes they made Richie Hearn die cast back then and this is the Ralph's Food for Last number 21 this car is a Lola as my cat decides to start scratching on things uh, thank you cat for stopping that but it's a Lola chassis they made a Lola and if you guys know anything about cart the Lolas in 1997 were absolute trash absolute trash so getting a 97 Lola in uh, diecast form is crazy awesome and I'm very happy to get it uh, so here's the back and it's interesting because Richie Hearn got a ton of diecast made of him like uh, mini champs made him uh, Hot Wheels made him action made a made a Richie Hearn uh, and he only had ever one win and it was IRL at uh, the inaugural very very first Las Vegas race uh, I think that was ever held it was Richie Hearn who won uh, but an absolutely fantastic car and again I have three of the four of the pro racing cars the only one I'm missing is Andre Ribeiro who uh, also has a Lola chassis so same chassis as this car again oh I guess I'll do this little comparison even though I could do it in a video later Reynard Lola and uh, so that is the David Land buys cart super lot of lots of cars. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a review of any of these. Uh, I will certainly review at least one or two, uh, but probably more. So thank you guys so much for watching as I pan down, and we will see you in the next video.